What's going on everybody? Retro Wrench is back for another video. And this is episode 4 of Project Miata. Today we're going to be doing the valve cover gasket because it is leaking. And we figured while we're taking it off we're going to sand it down the cover. Um, paint in a nice color which is actually right here. We're going to paint this gold and just make the engine bay pop a little more. So this gold we're going to probably match with you know the intercooler piping and any engine bay mods that we do just so it's like consistent. But yeah, so let's jump right into this. It's a really simple tutorial, so let's do it now. So the first step we're going to do, obviously, is take off these um, plug wires. If you want to take a mental note, it's pretty obvious, but take a picture. Obviously, four is on the far right, one, two, and three. We'll probably keep those in, just set them off the side. But this is cylinder one, two, three, four. So just in case you can't figure out which ones they are, you don't want to mix up the order because you'll get misfire. So we're just going to take them out of the way. We're just going to sit these to the side. There's a couple 10 millimeter bolts along the outside, right here and here. Take those off. And then uh, we'll take some pliers. Actually, we'll do that now. We'll do this first. Let's just get these little connectors out. So I just wiggle that bad boy off. Probably could have took it with this little um, thing out, but we'll get that out off the car. It might be easier. Then we're just going to disconnect this one over here. Which actually the hose is cracked. This is a hard line. So we might have to replace that, but for the meantime, we'll set her aside. And I'll take these guys off here. One cool thing is they're all kind of polished, which is interesting. Yeah. Gives a little bit of a pop. Oh, these are actually screws, not just nuts. We'll set that to the side. Put these Let's take this bad boy off. So there's 12 of these things just around the whole valve cover. Let's take them out of the way. It's got so much oil on it because the whole valve cover gasket is leaking on this side that it failed. So the screw as I pull it up, the oil got all in it. I love about old cars is how easy they are to work on like it's just so accessible you can see all that build up in there it's condensation from just turning her on turning her off and not really letting her really uh, drive too much We got the 12 bolts out. Now all we have left is these two 12 millimeters that are just holding on this little bracket back here for where the wires go. Let's just take those out. So that right there, that's all the screws that are holding this on. We're just gonna pull that up. Might be, oh no, this was actually really easy, I lied. Sometimes it might be hard to get off because of the heat and everything. We'll just slide her out of the way. In there. We're gonna put the hood on over this just so we don't get any debris inside, you know, with the cans or anything like that. So I'm gonna need the cameraman to help me put the hood just laying on top of this right now. So looking at this gasket, it is complete shot. It's so worn that the oil is just seeping right through it. So we're just gonna pry her out. She's seen better days. Much better days. It's not even rubbery anymore. This is just like solid. Which are supposed to be connected, but they're <laughs> not because like I said, seen better days. We're gonna pretty much Clean this whole underside up, make sure there's no gasket material laying in there. And then we're gonna flip her over, sand her down, and start going to town on painting. We're gonna use a primer. We'll get to that step when we get there. I'll explain that better, but yeah, look at this thing, man. 
I'm trying not to really dig into this because I don't want to create a groove in it just so oil won't leak there. But I believe that's all we got the four spark plugs. So yeah, that's that. I'm gonna clean her up and then paint her. So we got the valve cover pretty much stripped down, oil caps off, that little I think almost like a check valve, I'm not sure, don't call me on that, but we took that out. Uh, right now we're just going to pressure wash it down just to get as much grease and grime off as we can with the engine degreaser. And then we're going to take the, we're probably going to wet sand it. For the inside, I'm not going to go crazy on cleaning it because it's just going to get oily again. But I do want to get all that loose um, plastic, which is supposed to be rubber, from that valve cover gasket out. And then obviously this degreaser, I'm just going to spray in here. But like I said, don't go crazy in there because you can get oily again, but. Let that soak up a little bit. That actually took away a lot of it pretty quick though. Oh, yeah. All right, open these bad boys up. She's looking nice and pretty. I mean, that's as good as we're gonna get it. We're not gonna go crazy because that's really kicked up on there. That might even be burnt. But um, down here, we're just gonna clean up some more. We'll use probably some brake clean along with the degreaser. But yeah, that's that. So once we finish this, we'll flip her over, tape off these little holes here, in here, and here, sand it down, and then put our coats of primer. We got this taped up here. We got a nice brake cleaned. We're gonna sand it down. Probably put some water on it. Wait, let's sand it a little bit. We're not gonna go crazy with the sanding. We just want to take off any like surface imperfections. Looking like a professional over here. Right? Sometimes I know what I'm talking about. Not all the time. So we wet sanded it. It's pretty much ready for the primer. So we're gonna, we're kinda getting impatient here. We want it to dry quicker. We were gonna use this thing, but yeah, this thing's a ripper right here. Certified. Well, if our hearing wasn't gone already, it's gone now. Yeah, it's just smooth. Like a baby's bottom? Yeah, yeah, there is some discoloration, but I'm not worried about it because look, ultimately we're going for the smoothness. Now we have this um, rusty metal primer, just some rust inhibitors in case it ever rusts out, but it's just good to have. Shake this bad boy up, prime it down, sand it. Then after we sand it, we we'll probably do. We might only need, we should probably do two coats of this, but we'll see what we need when we get there. And then we're gonna do our top coat, which is our nice finish. Be the final coat. So we were painting over there. It's too windy. Here's our valve cover. We're letting that dry before we sand it. But this guy. Check it out. He made a nice homemade paint booth. Show me, garage, show me your no crib, bro. Show me, show me the MTV yeah, crib. Yeah, come in. No. Little two wall Dude, this is crazy. Booth. You got your cardboard This down. is crazy. Get some lighting in here. Homemade this, shit, you know? Gotta do what you gotta do. DIY. You know, yeah. but damn. So yeah, this is definitely more of a fixed environment so we won't have that uh, wind blowing it. Luckily it was just the primer and not the finish because otherwise we'd have to sand it back down and redo it all. It's gonna be lighting it up. The primer's drying so we just decided there's no sense of just, you know, sitting around and watching paint dry. So we're just gonna clean up these surfaces. We might need some scotch bright, but we should be able to do it just this. We 
wait about 30 minutes to 45 minutes to let this dry. And now she's all dry. She's got some imperfection. That's why we've got some water on the sandpaper. We're gonna use a really fine grit and just kind of sand it down, smooth it out as best as we can. And then it's time to cover it in the final coat of the official color. The valve cover's all sanded down. It's got the primer really smooth, real smooth surface for the paint to lay on it. As you can see, this is the color we're going with. It's like a metallic gold finish. So like I said in the beginning of the video, it's gonna match all the intercooler piping and pretty much the whole engine bay is gonna be in sync with one another. So we're gonna cue the time lapse right now. As you can see, she's drying, but she's not bad for one coat. It might do a couple more, but it doesn't really do justice of this color in a garage with these two lights. But when we bring it outside, she's gonna pop, especially when, you know, installed. So she's all done. We're gonna Ooh. drop her on. Oh, looks minty fresh. Nice and carefully. Be careful. Oh man, that pops so good. Wow. The screw goes there. Dude, that looks killer. Gotta put that little cap back on. It does look killer. Really changes the entire it look does. of the engine bay just by really painting one thing, and we got other plans to paint other stuff, so. So we laid it down nice. Now we're just gonna put these screws on. There's a sequence to tighten them. I'm just gonna get them all snug and then. There should be like a star pattern on how you tighten them down just so it compresses the valve cover equally with applied like the perfect amount of pressure so you don't have any more leaks. I believe they're what 50 foot pounds of torque if you want to torque spec yeah, them. Yeah, yeah, which we'll probably just run this down like I said and then we're going to use the torque wrench. That's a wrap for today's video guys. Hope you enjoyed. Definitely spruced up the engine bay. What do you think about the gold? Do you like it or not? Comment down below. But um... Like I said, I don't know if I said in this video or a previous video, we want to put that timing cover back on. We were going to do it while this was off, but um, we don't have the screws and have the stores are closed, so we'll have to take this off one day, put that cover back on. But do you think we should leave it that chrome, or not the chrome, but the uh, same color as this, like it previous, like that color, just like the engine block color, or paint it gold as well, because just imagine it being gold right there as well. Uh, let us know what you guys think. I really just keep this gold, but we might as well paint that gold if you guys think so but uh yeah it was a super easy video today just time consuming waiting on the paint to dry but other than that thanks for watching comment give it a like and don't forget to subscribe if you're new and see you in the next video episode five peace